Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247 here to give you guys Borderlands gameplay part 5. Uh, in this gameplay, we are going to defeat the boss that we tried to accomplish in part 4, but didn't have time for it, and we're going to do some other things. Uh, what I noticed with these is I tend to do these gameplay videos later. I tend to record the footage uh, one day and do the editing the other day, and I kind of forget what happens during these gameplays because I just don't pay attention that much. But what I need to do now is that I'm noticing that I need to record the gameplay and then edit it that same day but also I can upload it on a later day if I want so that's something that I noticed I can that I'm going to do now rather than uh, doing it um, recording the footage one day doing the editing the other and the voiceover the same day with the editing so it gets kind of hard to remember what happens in the gameplays but in this uh, gameplay video I just basically have some updates I just want to talk about after the first part and then uh, we'll talk about the gameplay some more so let's get started. So the first update I do want to say is that I have a new channel. Now I'm not really getting rid of this channel or anything. I kind of mentioned this in a couple of uh, videos back, but I think I forgot to link it. But I'm definitely going to be doing it in this one. Um, my new channel is a vlogging channel. Um, basically I just do uh, random videos on here, behind the scenes look of how I make some videos and just some uh, vlogs. I have two videos up right now and the people that came over that found it via Twitter or Facebook or they just found out by uh, browsing around on the channel. I actually do like the content there so if you want to see like a vlog style type video um, behind the scenes look or some random videos uh, definitely check out my other channel. I'll link it right now so you guys can uh, check that out and uh, subscribe. I try to do a video on there a couple times a week um, but I think I'll do my next vlog maybe tomorrow or possibly Friday um, depending on how busy my schedule is. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, my second update is that um, I'm going to be doing another live stream via Google Plus on uh, Thursday night I believe. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Thursday. Um, the reason I want to do it via Google Plus is because if you guys have been um, following my uh, my YouTube feed or my Twitter the last couple of days I recently found out I could do a Google Plus hangout but live stream with the YouTube so it can be like a YouTube live stream which is awesome. Uh, makes it a lot easier than doing it on blog TV because I have heard from other people that blog TV doesn't really work too too well um, with their browser or their computer or anything but they can watch the reminder video that I post on YouTube fine so I figured if I can just upload the stream to uh, YouTube and do a live uh, hangout um, it would be the same way then everybody could watch it so I'm gonna be doing that maybe Thursday um, there's no really way to find out about this besides check out the channel every so often I'll probably post a link on uh, Twitter and mostly on Facebook um, as well so if you guys want to follow me on there the links are down below but I'm definitely gonna be doing a live stream on Google Plus I did test it out yesterday for about 20 minutes and I do have to say um, I also got some great feedback on that as well um, so I'm really excited to do that so yeah that's all my updates now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm uh, going back to Borderlands to defeat this boss and I do have to say I do die a lot more in this particular uh, gameplay in this particular weapon set than I do when I have my first save uh, on my first save I'm able to beat the boss on my first try and I thought it was pretty easy but this I think you need like an assault rifle or some type of SMG weapon that has a lot of power to it. I'm not saying the SMG that I have uh, is not powerful. It's just that I think the gun that I had before on my last gameplay um, was a lot more powerful, which allowed me to get um, a better score, I guess you can say, or or defeat the boss more easily. So I'm just I'm looking around at my gun list. I think I'm gonna change some things or try to do some things here, but I'm trying to just experiment uh, with the inventory a little bit. Um, that's the thing with RPG type games. I always forget that there's like a like an inventory system. I'm not used to that type of gameplay, and I don't really like that type of style. I think um, I like going around the world and collecting weapons, but using them when I find them. I don't like to have to go back and equip them uh, in the game when I want to and have to carry around. And I always forget what guns I have, so I like. Um, the type of style that you find a gun and you can use it, but once you defeat the level, it's gone. That's the type of style I like. Uh, most people probably don't like that, but that's the way I like to do things. Um, in this part, it's actually um, this this sniper rifle right here um, is actually the same sniper I was using before. I think it's got a little more like power to it, and the scope is a lot better. As you can see, it looks like a like an old style computer monitor with some um, sensors on it. It's actually pretty neat. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get him away by throwing some grenades um, to help me out. And then I'm going to shoot him with this SMG thing. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically about it for this, um, what's going on in the boss. Um, also, I don't like that, um, yeah, I don't like when you, when you are attacking something, are you attacking something and then other enemies can attack you, I don't like that, that just pissed me off, so. Um, I do die a lot, as you can see, in this particular gameplay. Um, I'm just kind of rambling on for right now because I really have no things to talk and there's that creepy lady again. Um, so yeah, and then after this gameplay, I sort of get lost trying to get my way back to where I was. Um, so I can go redeem my, um, experience. So after I do this, I'm gonna get myself on Lost and on the right track to the, exp where well, I can redeem my experience points to get my reward and then I'll start the gameplay back up. But I did notice when I was recording, uh, part 6, um, I got really lost and the gameplay was like 20 minutes long. So I, uh, deleted the gameplay and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself unlost and then I'm going to, um, we start, um, we start the gameplay from there. So I'm just collecting all the stuff that he dropped and I'm killing some slugs to get some extra XP. As you can see, I think I'm a level 5, I believe. Level 5, level 6. So I'm just getting death to the experience points. Um, so yeah, that's basically about it for this gameplay. I don't remember too, too much what happened. Basically, what you gotta do now is you gotta figure out how to get yourself unlost. And I don't know why. I stopped moving. There we go. Uh, collect the money, I guess. So yeah, I guess I'll let you guys enjoy the gameplay some more. Um, I did get this box of guns, and what it is, I think it's just ammo and a few uh, different guns. I think I picked one here because I think they just have some cool guns. Some more SMG bullets. This is a better SMG that I picked up. I think I forget to equip it um, later. Like I said, I forget that I can equip weapons. So now I'm just... Now this is when I started to get lost. I don't remember how to exactly get out of here. Um, I knew there was an elevator, which I come across now, but I don't remember uh, what else I need to do to get out of this uh, particular uh, place. This cave maze thing. So I'm kind of just running all over the place trying to find out uh, where is the best spot to uh, where is the quickest way home and the quickest way back because I really don't want to fight any more enemies and waste my bullets so I can um, so I can save those for my next mission for when um, any other boss wants to fight. So yeah, we're just kind of running around now. Um, like I said, the only reason I think I got lost in the first place it was a stupid compass down at the bottom. I hate that compass. You guys probably know that. I hate the compass on the bottom of this game. It's terrible. Um, I don't like it. So I, this is where I think I get a little lost. And these slugs here. Um, these are harder slugs. Uh, some of these slugs can throw like slime balls at you. That I think they take a pretty hard toll on your health. But that's besides the point. Um, I'm just kind of going where the compass takes me. Um, as you can see, it's all the way over to the left, so I'm trying to just focusing on navigating that way. And then Clytrap comes to talk to me. But, yeah guys, that's pretty much about it. I think I'm going to let you guys go a little bit early, um, because I have nothing to talk about. Thanks for watching this video. I'll subscribe to my other channel if you already have it. And I will see you guys in the next video.